Well, I wouldn't have believed it before I started raising one puppy per year, but they really do have different personalities. Some are very cuddly and they always want to be near you, always want to cuddle. Some are very energetic and have high needs to go for walks and to spend their energy. Some are very stubborn and they're tougher to raise at the beginning. Some are like just sweet and obedient. So it, they really all have their personalities. We have them for the first year of their lives. So so we really mold them. We, we really get the opportunity to make them as, as good as possible, always acting accordingly to their, their traits of character. And so we really get the opportunity to try to mold them in, in the most perfect way possible for the Mira Foundation. And not every dog makes it, but we truly try for them to make it because that's why you get involved uh, in a foundation like this. You don't get involved to keep the puppy in the end. <laughs> like if we wanted a, like a family dog from the get-go, we would buy a dog. That's not the idea here. You follow all these rules and you really give it your best during a whole year. You think about the person that's going to have him uh, or her. Like you really focus on that. And what is to be kept in mind, I think, is that when we started raising dogs, um, I was 26, and at that time, I had just started my career, and I knew I wanted to um, contribute positively to society, but at that moment, I didn't have like the financial means. What I had was energy and time, so by raising one dog per year, and like it's not just the cuddling and the cute pictures, it's not just, it's fun, it, it's, always, it's obviously fun because we kept on doing it, but there's also a part of responsibility here, and I wanted to make a difference. So, uh, yes, I, I do feel like we're contributing.